Hey guys, my name's Tony. And I'm Christian. And we are the Resale Brothers. And we're going over last month's sales, the month of April. We did $51,792. And don't forget the 70 cents. Yep. That's in total. So we 1593 sold 1,593 units. 1,593 units sold. What? So if you do some quick math, you time we average a five to six dollar buy cost. Yep. Times 1,593, that's where your buy cost is. Um, we also have a few other fees oh. that we pay, you know, like some other things like a warehouse fee, blah, blah, blah. But if you're looking off just the cost of goods, that's where we're at. Yeah, our average sale price is $32.51. Yep. Uh, 45 on eBay, five on Poshmark, and then a whopping almost 1400 on Mercari. So definitely eBay is our main source of income, but we still like to sell Poshmark and Mercari because like you can see, over $6,000 a month in sales is definitely worth still pursuing. That's why we cross list and that's why... Uh, we're one of the few resellers, I think, online that cross lists that are really big on eBay. So um, we're going to start with a what sold. So we're going to go over our highest sales first, and then we're going to kind of trickle down to the middle tier. And then at the end, uh, some bread and butter stuff. So if you want to see how you uh, basically are a volume seller and how you sell lower cost items to, because we have 11,000 listings, definitely watch till the end so you can see the everyday stuff that we're selling that almost everybody can find in their local thrift stores to make that uh, consistent income. That's how we stay at $50,000 consistently uh, month over month and uh, that's kind of uh, the backbone of our business would be the bread and butter stuff. But we're going to get right into it. All right, first we got a CC Filson leather jacket, and it was also flannel lined. It sold for $280. We didn't have it too long, maybe probably close to three months, but it wasn't winter, uh, so we decided to just let go of it for $280 when we got the offer. And yeah, so it was a pretty good sale. Uh, we've went over this one before. This is a uh, Kleinder Hadsburg. It's a Beretta vest. It's made out of hamster fur, so... Uh... Many hamsters had to die to make this, so thank you for your service, hamsters. Uh, it had they some damage. They look like their little bodies. Yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of sad to watch, but it had a little bit of damage on it, so we talked about this before. Uh, I think it sold for $150, and it sold super quickly, and it sold internationally, even with damage. So uh, hamster is apparently a very good material. Uh, this is a Calvaria Toscana pants. And they are they're basically just riding pants that for horse riding. That's the emblem right there on the left. Breeches. They call them breeches. All riding pants look yep. them up. Uh, so we had this in a previous um, what sold. We took an offer. I don't remember exactly what it was. Go back and watch that video. But it was not the 218. I'm assuming it was like 150-ish, 180-ish. Yep. But uh, you can go ahead and look that up if you want to fact check us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next is just a bundle. So uh, like I said, we're a volume seller. So we like to buy a lot of similar items. So this is, we got a bunch of Vendor Vine stuff new tags a while back. This is a bundle of like, I think, five shirts. Five or six shirts uh, was $175 sale. Uh, that's one of the reasons that being a volume seller. Five. Hmm? Five. Oh, five, yeah. Five total items, $175 in sales. Uh, one of the reasons why being a volume seller is good because people buy bundled listing, which is why I wanted to include some of the big bundles in this video. Same thing with this one right here. It's just a bunch of... Yeah, this uh, this guy messaged me and said, well, would you take 15 if I buy a lot? And I said, sure. He bought nine shirts. Yeah. yeah and then they all ended up being like $129. So. Even like this, it's just a plain Ralph Lauren button down. But if you have... 500 of them in your store people can bundle them together and they like to definitely save on the shipping cost as well So well, this is weird because he bought a bunch of different sizes. So it's kind of interesting. Maybe he's a reason Bought larges extra large small 2xl. Yeah, it's, it was his weight oh, his weight fluctuates a yeah, lot Maybe I don't know <laughs> Another bundle. So like I said, we saw a lot of different stuff like Levi's Tommy Hilfiger shirt uh, Nike new attacks hoodie another pair of Levi's so uh, definitely, it's to your benefit to have a larger store if you're able to store the items. $109 sale here. Next, we got a Shane. Shane. A Shane John, John Lamb's it. leather. Uh, basically, <laughs> it's just like a jacket. It's kind of it was lightweight for being Lamb's leather, but uh, yeah, this was a $100 sale. The person has not returned it, so nice. They kept it. So there we go. Very shiny. Next is a J Crew blazer. Uh, we sold a bunch of these J Crew blazers, a bunch of different iterations, different styles. But this is a Nanificente de Nene Sefiso de Telnello. Uh, definitely did not say that right, but this is just a J. Crew blazer, new tag, sold for $103.55. Next is Arcteryx jacket. This was the lightest weight, lightweight jacket you'd ever be able to see. Uh, you, I mean, I barely weighed anything, but it was new tags. It was like three ounces. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this for only like six dollars so it was a really good buy and it did sell for 
I believe, $100. So, yeah, we uh, got rid of that really quickly. We love our, our one of our favorite brands is definitely Arcteryx. Next is this Beretta hunting jacket, uh, listed for $190. Uh, listed it in the colder months, so uh, could have gotten more for it if it would have sold back then, but it didn't. So we ended up taking a $100 offer on this, but still we paid like $40 for it, so a decent sale there. Uh, these Beretta hunting style jackets are pretty good, so if you see anything with like leather patches on the shoulders and it's Beretta, definitely look it up. Another bundle, another four. These were an example of we got a bunch of Carhartts. Um, and they were four car hearts that are basically identical. Somebody's trying to get to work. Yep. Buy some work shirts. So yeah, $93. And these are the vented shirts too. So if you ever see a Carhartt shirt and it's vented, definitely include that in your title. It's a good keyword. People are wanting to stay cool, so they like to buy the vented shirts. Next is, uh, I think we've actually did a video on this as well. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren jacket. It's a Harrington and Bomber full zip. So I'm not sure if uh, we're going to get a Vero for selling this kind of stuff. But some people have commented that Harrington is a Vero. So uh, not 100% sure on that, but we've had no issues with it so far. So for us, uh, we've had no issues. But this is just a size 3XLT Ralph Lauren jacket. Uh, pretty obvious pickup there if you ever see it. Uh, Galvin Green. We showed this in a golf video. Galvin Green's a pretty decent brand. Um, this was a Windstopper vest. So yeah. it was, uh, and it was new. So it was kind of on the higher end. This sold for, I think, $85. And yeah, once we relisted it because it was somehow deleted off of eBay, it sold rather quickly. So. Yep. Next is a pair of Allen Edmonds shoes. Um, these are just a pair of Oxford. They're the Lombard Brown. Oh, I should have kept them. They're my size. Yeah, they're actually pretty nice. But uh, Allen Edmonds shoes are real hit or miss. So definitely look up the exact style name. But the Oxford seem to perform the best, in my opinion. They sell really quickly. So if you see Allen Edmonds Oxfords, always look them up. Uh, pretty decent sale there. Uh, another bundle. Here we go. And these are more, like I said, even more common. Van Heusen, Tommy Hilfiger, Ralph Lauren. Um, yeah, the Tommy Hilfiger and Van Heusen were new. We'd like to pick those up mainly if they are new yeah. uh, and still pretty cheap. So Pretty got, easy to find new. Yeah, as we well, got yeah. those for anywhere from two to four dollars. And this is, I mean, the three shirts sold for 75 in total. So, I mean, we probably have anywhere from eight six to eight dollars into these shirts so and honestly van Heusen, you would really be surprised how many bundles we've had with that brand included in it so Ooh, offer. A new offer on a ferrari shirt um anyway yeah it's a good brand to bundle with stuff apparently um j crew pants these are this is a bundle of two j crew pants another example of how having a big store can definitely benefit you a 70 dollars sale here uh just kind of like a bread and butter pickup this is a pair of nike yeah, what are they? I think oh, they're, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Paul George, Paul George's. I knew they were a, a basketball player, but uh, these, I'm pretty sure we only sold these for like 50 bucks. Um, I, we had them for a long time, so we just took an offer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Finally, glad to get rid of those. So, uh, yeah. basketball shoes. If it's not basketball season, sometimes it's kind of tough. This was kind of a cool Wilson's Moto leather jacket. Um, not a lot of the Wilson's jackets look like this. Most of them are kind of just like plain leather jackets, but this one was kind of cool looking, so we picked it up. Uh, I don't remember exactly what this sold for. I want to say 80 or $90, I think, kind of went past season. If we would have sold it in season, I think we could have gotten at least 100 bucks out of it. But still a decent sale here. If you see any type of, like, looks kind of like a Vin Diesel would wear a jacket. Uh, had a lot of distressing, too. Yeah, so. I could definitely one. see Vinny D wearing that, baby. Uh, G4, this was a, just a wool vest. This was in a fifth hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was new with tags. Um, $68, I think we took an offer on. Uh, it was a women's, it was a small, it's out of season. So we listed it for 80 and then got a $68 offer. And we were like, you know, actually I think I sent an offer to somebody. And yep. they, uh, they took it, so. Good sale there. Glad to get it going. How much did we pay for that? We only paid like $22 for it. So, so something like that. So it's probably made $30 on it. Uh, this is just a J. Crew linen blend blazer. Not a lot to say here. Uh, sold pretty quickly. I think it sold for like 50 some buck, $54, something like that. But sold pretty quickly at that price. Another bundle. Wow. Adidas joggers, Levi jeans, and 5'11 tech. I mean, they all were listed relatively. I mean, look, you see there, that was- All super common brands, Yeah, dude. January, that one was listed in March, and that one was listed in February. So none of them really hung around very long. Uh, sold for $50 in total. And then with our combined shipping, we still made some a little bit of money on the shipping because it didn't go too far away, so. Next is a Peter Millar pullover. Now this, um, I think we've talked about this in a video as well. This so, is a Marshall's buy, right? Or yeah, like I'm that. not going to go way into detail on it. Got it on clearance for like 28 bucks. Sold super quickly. Um, good sale there. Okay. Uh, Red Wing, Irish setter boots. Uh, 
Like I said, these I think sold for fifty dollars. Nothing crazy. I think everybody knows Red Red Wing and Irish Setter now. So yeah, they were good. Next is just a, we talked about this as well. It's a J Crew uh, Cashmere Knit Polo. Um, anything J Crew Cashmere is definitely going to sell for big money. It sold for sixty dollars and pretty quickly. It depends on your definition of big, but <laughs> anything is good for us. Yeah. Yep. Uh, RLX Raffler and golf pants. I, these were full price sale. Um, these have been getting returned because they're tailored and people are thinking they're tighter than they are, but these so far are good. Haven't been returned yet. So they do measure out good 30, 30, but people are just like, Oh, a little more slim yeah, fit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so we tried to make that clear in the description, but apparently <laughs> this is a, a, a Jack Victor Laurel Piana cashmere blazer. I think this is, has actually sold twice. The first time it was returned, uh, second time has not been returned yet, so hopefully they keep it this time. Yeah, I took a forty dollar offer on it the first time, and Christian got mad at me. And now this time it sold for more. So uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, anytime you see this logo, Laurel Piana, definitely pick it up. I actually just bought a women's blazer that did not feel like Laurel Piana wool, but it was. Uh, and I wasn't gonna buy it until I saw the little Laurel Piana, and then I picked it up. Uh, Tommy Bahama. This was a Chicago Cubs Tommy Bahama, hundred percent silk, three XL. Um, it did not sell for 74. I didn't really know what the price of that because there wasn't a lot on. Um, so I listed it high. Somebody made, sent us a $55 offer and we took it. So yeah, didn't pay very much for it. All right, Vineyard Vines performance uh, sports coat I blazer. Like in a while. I think we sold this for like, uh, I want to say $40. Um, they're pretty good. The Vineyard Vines uh, performance blazers, when they're not new, I mean, you're not going to get 100 bucks for them, but you'll get between 40 and $60 for them, usually. Okay, Polo Ruffler in. These are sweatpants. <clears throat> I believe these were a $50 sale, 2XB, new with tags. Paid up a little bit, uh, probably in the teens. So, yeah, still a good sale. This cool. is its uh, counterpart, it looks like. I wonder if the same person bought this. Maybe. Um, this is just a new with tag, size 3XB. Uh, hooded sweatshirt sold for sixty two seventy. That's a full price sale. All right. Next, we have a Nike tracksuit. Uh, Nike tracksuits do normally pretty well. We paid up a little bit for this. I think it was twenty six dollars. It only sold for fifty. It had a couple stains on it, and we had had it for a while because of the stains. So um, just took the fifty dollar offer to get rid of it. Sometimes we miss the stains in the store. We try not to, but sometimes we do. Uh, just a Peter Millar a Merino wool pullover sold for a sixty-six fifty. <laughs> um, diesel jeans. I believe these were around forty-eight dollars. We sold them for the, the um, Zaff. A lot of times we list these high and take offers on them. So yep, diesel jeans are good in men's. Always look up the style though. It's crazy the difference in some of the styles in the diesel jeans. I mean, it could be the difference in a 20% sell through rate or a 120% sell through rate. Oh, Price ranges are crazy too. Uh, definitely look at the style name. Uh, Brooks Brothers, this is just a new at tags button down shirt sold for $57. Paid another one. I think we paid like 20 bucks for these, but they were uh, 16.99. 16, sorry, 16.99. But yeah, they uh, yep, full price sale. Todd Snyder jeans sold for 51 dollars, and they had a stain. So Todd Snyder jeans are really good. Definitely pick them up if you find them. Todd, yes. Also, guys, we added some new brands to our brands best menswear brands list. Uh, and if you don't know already, we put out a best menswear brands list. I think it was sometime last week. Um, we're just adding all of our favorite brands, uh, brands with really good sell-through rates, um, really good average sale prices. So we added some more, uh, Jack Archer, Tacovas, UNRL, Noble, Laurel Piana, Mantra, uh, Minus 33, uh, Outdoor Afro, REI Co-op. It's kind of like a little bit of a co uh, collaboration. If you see this kind of tree with an afro, that's what it is. Uh, Taylor Stitch is a really good brand. Industri Industry of All Nations, Outlier. James Purse, uh, Kimes Ranch, Mission Workshop, Ministry of Supply. So if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, link's definitely in the description of this video, or you can go to any of our other videos. It should be there. And yeah, check it out. Look at the list. Um, these are all up-to-date, uh, accurate uh, numbers. It'll take you to Gumroad, and it's free. You can donate money to us. It took a little bit to make. It was a little bit... Uh kind of exhausting so if, but if you don't put zero if you don't want to you can put zero 100 percent totally fine thank you to the people that did donate and give us a little bit of a little bit of what was it scratch a little a little, a little bit, bit of scratch, scratch yeah definitely it. appreciate so, yeah, it definitely appreciate that but yeah, yeah. 
took a lot of time to make, so definitely appreciate you guys donating and making it worth our time to uh, actually do stuff like that. So and we like to help. We're men of the people. Yeah, we're men, men of the people. Okay, now back to the what soul. We have these Magnani shoes. Now, Magnani shoes are super all over the place. Sell-through rate does not look great, but these things sold, and they're actually damaged as well. As you can Whoa. see, there's a little bit of a tear ski here. But these sold for like 50 bucks, took forever to sell, but they did sell eventually, even with this damage. So Magnani are definitely shoes to be on the lookout for. True Religion Blazer, this took forever <clears throat> to sell, if I remember correctly. Um, yep. yep. Took a while, not as long as I thought, but still took a while. Uh, kind of cool looking though. Like a $50 offer on it, so I decided to take it since we had it for a while. True Religion. Ooh. Ooh, we got a little bundle action here. Love some, some Hagar. Yep, two Hagar pants, 5130. I'm going to have to drink some. You're up. Uh, next, we have some Johnny O Yukon National Champions uh, quarter zip pullovers. This guy actually bought two, cool. uh, each for 50 bucks. Sent me a message asking we combine shipping. And I said, of course, of course. Mm. Yep. Uh, these Converse, we got a bunch of these things, um, sold for fifty-two twenty-five. Uh, they're all selling for between forty and fifty dollars, so pretty decent sales. Mantra, Mantra is a really good brand. I believe it is on the list. Yep. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead. This uh, baby's got mushrooms yep, all over this it. This sold for fifty dollars. It is new. Found it at a thrift store. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, sorry. It's called a fungi because I'm a fungi. Sorry. All right, moving down. Save the duck vest. This is kind of like a uh, faux quilted down vest, um, kind of like a environmentally conscious brand. Uh, these actually sell pretty well. Um, sold for 50 bucks, I believe, somewhere around that price range. Um, and it sold pretty quickly, so definitely a good brand. Tommy Bahama, another new Tommy B. Uh, this was around, uh, I believe, another 50 something dollar sale, 50, 55, something like that. We did take an offer. Um, New Tommy Bahama, always good with the, the bigger sizes, too. So Cool. So this is a uh, just a cool kind of like a Sherpa line jacket. It's a newer style. I actually saw this exact same jacket when I was in REI a little uh, earlier this year. Uh, actually, last year during the winter months. So definitely a more modern style of a cool jacket, but sold really quickly for, I think we took a $50 offer on it. Could have weighed and sold it for a little bit more, but I paid $10 for it at a flea market, so I was like, whatever. I'm waiting on you to mention the yeah, flea market. From 10 to 50, I'm just gonna move it, especially since it's not winter time anymore. So definitely, you have to factor in the time of year when you're selling stuff like this. Yeah, yeah you could hold it, but uh, in my opinion, if you can make a quick 35, 40 bucks on it, just get it out of there. Another bundle couple polo pants for $47.50. Take that, aw, uh, Dizzy. And yeah, we included, like I said, a bunch of these bundles just so you can see how volume sellers with big stores get most of their sales because a lot of our high ticket sales are bundle items. Tommy Bahama again. Would you be surprised if I said it was a floral island though? <laughs> Hawaiian shirt, new tags. Uh, we paid up a little bit for this one, but it did sell for that $57. <gasps> oh, so surprised. Bernie Mev. Bernie Mev shoes. Women's. <clears throat> uh, this was also an offer, $38. Oh, we had, we had for, these for a long had time. Had it for a while, so yeah. we just took that offer. I wonder what the skew is. The skew on this is, yeah, 23000 So we had these babies for a very long time. They were listed in May of last year, so long time. Skechers. These are ArchFit. ArchFit Skechers are actually pretty good if they're in uh, decent shape. Uh, can go from anywhere between twenty to thirty-five dollars used, and up to fifty some dollars if they're new. So pretty decent sale. Johnny O, Sarah, South Carolina Gamecocks. We listed these probably way too high. It was around <laughs> seventy-six. Yeah, yeah, it was also like a fifty-dollar sale, but didn't really pay that much for them. So yep, got them gone. Get out of here, Athleta. Then these are very wide leg flare pants. Um, at the Athleta wide leg stuff and the flare styles seem to do pretty well. Um, even though we don't buy women's clothes very often, when we do, uh, we definitely like to pick up the more popular trendy styles because yeah, women, it doesn't matter what the brand is. Like men will buy specifically for brands. Women, they want to have the in styles that we found that the longer we've uh, resold. Athleta, you want to pick up the newer. You can normally look at the tag and it'll show you the year it was made. Yeah. Um, these were $119 and new. So if you can get something like 2021, 20, 22, 23, those will be good because they're normally the better styles. But the older Athleta, 
might not want to pick that up. Yeah, and we've had people comment. We put out the obviously we put out the men's list. Um, they said they wanted a women's list. So if you want us to put out a women's list as well, definitely comment on this video. If we have enough people comment, we will do it. But like I said, it takes a lot of time to do. So we've sold a lot of women's clothing. We kind of niche down the men's, but we do have a lot of knowledge in women's clothing. Uh, not as much as some people out there, but we're Is definitely it niche or niche. Niche niche, same thing. But yeah, comment, and also if you have any brands, oh, sorry. Also if you have any brands that you want us to add to the list, uh, comment that as well, and we'll look at them and see if they're good, and we'll add them to the list if they're good, and we'll shout you out in the video if we remember to. Uh, this is a kilt. I believe we showed this kilt like five times, but uh, this we is the darn last near, time. darn near killed them. This is the last time. Uh, this was a $40 sale. Yeah, hopefully you'll never see that again. Uh, Scully, yeah, that means if it's returned, maybe you'll see it again. It hasn't been returned. So. Okay. A Scully, <clears throat> dear Lord, a Scully shirt. Uh, I got sunburned and I'm itchy. This is just a Scully. Scully's a decent brand to look out for. The sell-through rates, I mean, it's not a crazy sell-through rate. It's between like 40 and 50%, if I recall correctly. But they do seem to sell for a decent amount. So. Sold, that sold very fast. Did it really? I looked at the sell through rate. Sold like a week. I was going to add Scully to the sheet, but the sell through rate didn't look great. So maybe I'll look at it again. Sold in one week. Wow. These are aloe shorts, also a women's pair. Uh, got these because they're sweat shorts, high waisted, new with tags. Uh, sold for $44. Very quickly. That's pretty good. About a week. And these are women's sold. as yeah. well. Huh. I'm uh, very happy with that sale. Uh, Ralph Lauren size 3XLT. It's just proof that size is everything in Ralph Lauren. Um, sold pretty quickly at that $45 mark. Another Ralph Lauren. This was a, we've had these for a while. I think we bought them at the end of last golf season. These sold for like $38, took an offer. Uh, women's RLX, you know, it's women's golf stuff. Yeah. So not, pretty as, good. not as good as the men's, but. I think it's okay. Uh, American Giant, this is another brand that's on the list. Um, American Giant's a great brand. Uh, not what it used to be, but it's still pretty strong. It performs pretty well for us. Uh, this sold for that $45, oh, excuse me, that $45 mark. Veronica Beard, yes, a lot of women's 40, in a row. This yeah. was a $40 sale, had these for a while, but they did sell. Got that little herringbone. Yeah, if you see this pattern, that's a herringbone style. Herringbone. Poncho, um, Poncho's a great brand. Um, a lot of they, 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 dear lord, Poncho's a great brand. Uh, they have like uh, they had a bunch of these at our local thrift store that had like magnetic magnetic buttons, and they were broken. So definitely be on the lookout You're for the really buttons. Good. Thank you. <laughs> definitely look at the buttons. Uh, the buttons can break on these, so they're kind of uh, something you have to look at pretty closely when you purchase them. But they do sell really quickly and for good money. This these sold for I think for fifty two dollars. J. Crew Houndstooth Linen. So good old Houndstooth Linen by J. Crew. Always good pickup, especially when it's new like these were. Sold for $44. Chicago Bears. Chicago. Tommy Bahama Silk. Are these silk? Yeah. Tommy Bahama Silk, Chicago Bears. Tommy Bahama, when they do collaborations with sports teams, they always seem to move quicker. Um, don't get a whole lot more money for them depending on the team, but they will sell quicker if they have a team on them. These sold, this sold for $45. I said these. Not even new. Yeah, not even new. Hugo Boss, these were new. These sold for $35. Took a little lower offer on it, but we had them. I think we had them for a while. It's crazy, yeah. It's crazy how long it takes Hugo Boss to sell for us. I don't know what it is about our store, but it seems to. I, I, I don't think, I don't think the sits. sell through rate's that great. And, for Hugo Balls. I don't know. I'll look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's not great. Anemo, some more riding breeches, as Tony likes to say. Um, like I, we pick up pretty much any pair of riding pants we see. Uh, this is the logo for it if you're on the lookout for this. Anemo, I don't, I don't know if this is on the list because this is a women's. Mm -hmm. I'll check it out and see if they have men's clothing as well. But yeah, sold pretty quickly and sold for a, a decent amount, $52.25. And now we're going to a Vineyard Vines that is New York Rangers. You see that logo? That means it's the New York Rangers. That sold for whatever it was. I don't know what it said because Christian clipped off it too fast. It was like 45 bucks, I think, is what it sold for. Uh, Roosevelt's, we did this one before. Actually, I think it was in one of our more recent videos. Uh, Roosevelt's Major League Baseball button-up shirt. Um, Just Major League. The Major movie, League. The movie. Uh, so, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, sold for 45 bucks. So Roosevelt's is definitely a good brand. It's on the list as well. Camo Levi's. This was a $36 sale. New with tags. Yep, Levi still does pretty good. 
New Balance. These are the 990 V5s. Uh, that's a decent brand. These, not decent brand, decent iteration of New Balance. These are kind of dirty, which is why they sold for a little less, but I'm around a $40 sale there. Maybe $38. 40 or $38. Stone River. This was a Stone River uh, with a weird logo Stone on the back. It's just a leather jacket that sold for $40. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. This is just a new with tags pullover sweatshirt. Um, sold for forty-seven fifty, but uh, these do seem to sell pretty quickly. But always around that forty-dollar range. True Religion. These are new with tag True Religion pants. These are hideous. Yeah, they were pretty ugly, but sold for forty bucks. These are as orange as my hair. Just kidding. Silver jeans. These are silver jeans, but they are men's jeans. So we don't pick up the women's jeans as much anymore. Um, we used to pick them up all the time because they're 35. Super good, yeah. But the men's jeans are definitely outperforming the women's jeans. Sold for thirty-five dollars. Nike jacket. This is a. I think this even had something wrong with it. We paid a little up for it, but we didn't see the stain. Still sold for thirty-six dollars. There's no stains or holes. Oh, I meant. No, it's a different jacket. We buy a lot of Nike jackets. It's really easy to forget. Uh, Tommy Bahama again, a Hawaiian shirt. Uh, as you can see, we love to buy the Hawaiian shirts. We never pay up too much for them, but um, this one was new, so it yeah. was probably more around the ten dollar range. Yeah, if it's new, we'll pay between ten and fifteen dollars at the max, depending on what it is. Uh, vintage Ralph Lauren, the denim Ralph Lauren stuff does really well. Uh, this was a thirty-five dollar sale on a used uh, denim shirt, so pretty good. Echo shoes. We did this actually before in another video. Um, Echo shoes are. Pretty average, but they'll definitely sell eventually. These sold, I think, around 40 bucks. Linen, uh, Ralph Lauren also had these before in a video, but this is a good sale. Um, linen, new tag shorts that were black. <laughs> yeah, $40. Nike Jordan sweatshirt. Uh, this actually, so I bought a bunch of Nikes. I bought a bunch of Jordans, and the Nike ones definitely outperformed the Jordans, surprisingly. Uh, this sold for like 30 bucks. Um, not as good as I thought it was going to be, but hey, I'll take the profit. Uh, for some reason, this isn't showing the. Yep, this is a small screen, sorry, but this is a Johnny O, sold for 40 bucks, Arizona Wildcat. And we got positive feedback, so yep. win win here. Another one that's not a bundle. See, and, I told you. Oh, uh, well, sorry for the small screen. This is an Adidas uh, X2XL Golf Geometric Polo, sold for 41.80 and plus shipping, so pretty and decent you can see sale. We paid 17 for it, so. 17 for we paid up for it. Uh, Brooks Brothers, uh, these were just a pair of pants that were new. Here, go ahead and click on that. See what happens. It just pulls it up. Yeah, you can see it. And there goes. Boom. Yep. So you saw how much it sold for in that last little screen. Uh, Brooks Brothers, when they're new, does really well. Even when they're used, if you can get them cheap enough, they're still pretty good. You did this, by the way. You were holding command. <laughs> Robert Graham jeans. Now, you know Robert Graham for their button-down shirts, but they also sell jeans. I uh, don't sell for quite as much, but they do sell decently. Uh, these sold for $42.75. Uh, next, got another Mantra. This is just a regular old polo. Uh, this one sold for $30. Peter Millar pants. Uh, we definitely don't pay up for these, but these sold for like $30. Bucks. Uh, took a minute to sell because they're just a pair of cotton chinos, but uh, definitely decent brand lululemon sweater with a weird line the weird line is just in the photo it doesn't actually have that uh this one sold for like 35 dollars as well sometimes those are hard to take pictures of because that is weird huh the camera did something weird but still sold we're professionals <laughs> next is a rag and bone button down shirt rag and bone pulling comps on these things is crazy it always looks horrible but this sold super quickly at that 47 50, 47 dollars and 50 cents i think i just had a stroke <laughs> It's two hundred twenty-five dollars new, so that's crazy. Tommy Hilfiger, these are vintage, weird corduroys that had a like a plaid pattern, like a Scottish plaid pattern. But uh, they sold for forty dollars. Took an offer. Um, they were such a specific style. I didn't know who would ever buy it again. So, yep, took a forty-dollar offer. Faraday reversible uh, crew neck sweatshirt. Uh, Faraday's great brand. I uh, sold this for around the thirty-five dollar mark, give or take. And it did so actually pretty quickly, so definitely a good pickup. Vineyard Vines Pink, put this in here, could show you that uh, the pink Vineyard Vines does well. Uh, this one was new and it sold for that $38 price. Price. Under Armour Pants, these are new with tags. I believe this sold for that $47.50 price range. Um, 
new attack under armor pants we pick them up if they're used or if they're new so uh, definitely a bread and butter brand uh, here's some vintage paco shorts it was, it was a 32 dollar sale for a total um the ones on the bottom only sold for 12 because they had a couple issues but they still sold for 12 and only paid like two for them yeah another example of why being a volume seller is good because you got stuff like this this was listed way back in november and this was just listed in uh march so definitely this one probably got this one to sell so I'd say that's definitely a win-win. Uh, Patagonia, we did this one before as well. Uh, just a lightweight nylon windbreaker. Uh, not much else to say. So far around that $40 price range. Another Patagonia. This one's a vintage Kapolein. Uh, Main USA. It was a little worn. So I only sold it for like 30 So They're all worn. Mean, they're used. Well, you know what I mean. Like Obviously, it felt worn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy Reed. We love Billy Reed. Uh, great brand. Definitely the jeans are pretty good as well. Uh, sold for $38 and sold super quickly. Um, like I said, Billy Reed is definitely a great pickup. These are Columbia. Um, I feel like I'm selling Capri a Capri pants. Yep, these were a $30 sale. What you come out uh, So Columbia, when they're new, these sold so fast. Can do pretty well. So in men's and women's. Actually, you know, you know what? I'm wrong. They didn't sell so fast. How long did it take? Uh, yeah, they sold so... They took forever to sell. It took about a year, it looks like. I'm thinking of a different pair. Yeah. But old, still, old. Cheap. Yep. Over 30. That's one of those things that if you have a little bit of a nest egg and you can sit on it, you know it's always going to be worth $5. So you might as well pick it up. Vintage Ralph Lauren Polo Cargo Shorts. This was a $38 sale on a used pair of cargo shorts. So They were that um, military, the sur surplus. military surplus. And we didn't have that in the title, but we should have. That was um, great, yeah. Wow. Always put that in the title if you see it. Still sold. Wow. Crazy good. Uh, this is a fleece line Duluth Trading vest that sold for 30 Um Duluth Trading in the men's doesn't do as well as it used to, but specific things still do pretty decent, like this one. Uh, $30. $30. Dollars. Uh, next is a pair of Adriana Goldschmidt jeans. These were new, so that's why they have such a high price tag, forty-two seventy-five. But yeah, Maybe without tags. Oh, there are no tags? Tags were not attached. Okay, yeah, so would have gotten more if they had the tags for sure. Uh, these this is these uh, vintage Nutmeg Mills. It's a Chicago Bear shirt. Uh, this one was kind of a flop. Uh, I paid up for it. I paid like $25, $30, and it sold for $30. thought this would do better because of Snoopy and the Peanuts, but it did not. Yeah. So probably Definitely won't pay cool up shirt, for it again. Though. Yeah, cool shirt. Uh, Sigrid Olsen. This was new. I believe it's linen. Um, got this on clearance from a, I think, department store. So, paid like 12, 15 bucks for it, and it sold for 38. So, decent sale. Uh, Polo <clears throat> Golf, they had elephant print on them. This was a $32 sale, uh, a newer style for Polo. So, that's why it uh, did pretty good. Boy Scouts of America pants. These are convertible Boy Scouts of America pants. They are new, but these are men. That's a big boy. Yeah, so these are for like the counselors or the adults that are leading the kids. Definitely how do you, not. How do you know? Or like the world's biggest kid. But yeah, they do okay. Um, $33.25. We'll take it for sure. Another Todd Snyder shirt. This is just a polo. It actually didn't have buttons. Kind of cool um, design that way. Sold for $30. $30. $30. But um, hey, Denim and Supply, military style nautical coat. Now, this is a um, kind of a cool style, which is what I think made it sell pretty quickly. But it didn't sell for a lot. It sold for around that $30 price range. A lot of the stuff in this one is going to be between $20 and $30. Uh, Barbell, this was like a $26 sale. Um, <clears throat> but rather quickly, Barbell is pretty good jeans brand, especially. G4 t-shirt sold for $30. It was new with tags. That's why it sold for so much. If it was used, it'd probably be $20 to $25. Lululemon, uh, just some camo shorts that were men's. This was a $33 sale. Uh, yep. Camo, Lululemon, men's, all good stuff. Uh, Rain Spooner Hawaiian shirt. Uh, we've talked about this one before, so I won't go into uh, great detail, but Rain Spooner is definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for. Altered State. This was just a uh, was it puffer jacket? Down? No, just a puffer, regular puffer jacket. Sold for twenty five dollars. Yeah, some of the more substantial Altered State pieces do okay, but um, not the greatest brand in the world. We were kind of playing around with it when we bought this to try it out. Seven for All Mankind. Uh, these are the Lux Sport models. Um, decent brand. 
I mean, you're not going to get a ton of money for it, and it has kind of the sell-through rate's not the greatest, but this style performs relatively well. Um, sold for that $30 mark. Gap. This is just a Gap um, kind of utility jacket, you know, kind packable of hood, hood yeah. stuff like that. $25 again, something that we don't have to pay a lot for for Gap. Bonobos jeans. Now, Bonobos jeans are okay. Uh, Sell-through rate's not the greatest, probably in that 40% range. But they do eventually sell. These sold for $28, and we paid 5 so pretty happy with that sale. Fit flop. These were really old, took forever to sell, took a $20 offer just to get rid of it. We have sold a ton of uh, Fit Flops before, though. They, they're real easy to photograph, and they do eventually kind sell. Of an older-looking style, though. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely style-dependent on that. Uh, J. Jill uh, denim jeans, these are uh, like a floral print. Uh, they were new, which is why they sold for a little bit more money. Sold for $28, but I think they took, yeah, they took quite a while to sell, so... Uh, not going to be fast movers, but you will definitely get a decent profit out of new J. Jill. Uh, this Oppo Suits was uh, cool stars, I guess. Sold for $26. Stars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, got Actually sold twice. Got returned once for fit. Oop. Thumbs down for that brand, I guess. Uh, yeah, $26. $26. Very patriotic. I can see Uncle Sam wearing that. Oh, these are cool. Uh, these are the... Patini dye gray, canvas straight. Uh, these are just a pair of cool men's uh, pants, pants. Pair of cool men's pants, um, cool $35. They're pretty consistently in that $30 to $40 price range. Uh, if you get a newer style, a more um, hiking style, kind of like a nylon style, they can go for some more, but uh, those, the ones that aren't nylon seem to stay in that price range. The Burton ski pants, snowboarding stuff. Running. Uh, yeah, this was $28 sale. It took a lower offer because it was women's. Plus, it's out of season. Out of season. Tommy Bahama oh, denim shirt. These this sold for thirty dollars. I always say these. This sold for thirty dollars. It was new with tags, which is why it sold for so much. And it was a men's medium. Uh, what's that? Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's linen shirt, also new, also sold for like twenty-eight dollars. Um, Bloomingdale's is okay if you can get it new and if it's a cool material. Uh, but if it's just a plain button down, probably skip it. Express sweater, new with tags. We kind of played around with the brand Express, um, only in the new, so we don't buy it if it's used. Uh, I don't think we've ever bought it used, maybe a couple times. I but... tried this week to buy a couple of stuff new because they seem to sell rather quickly. Yeah, it's really weird. If you look up the sell-through rate, it looks horrible, but maybe experiment. This is, that's why we experiment with brands. I mean, we'll try it. If we know it's a really popular brand, We'll just test the waters and see like what in this brand is selling. Yeah. So this actually did sell for twenty eight dollars, and uh, yeah, it was one hundred percent merino wool, which obviously it's a more expensive material, but it did sell for a decent amount. We actually just sold a pair of shorts that were used from Express for twelve dollars. We paid two for, so yeah, and quickly. American Eagle volume um, game cargo shorts. He sold for like nineteen dollars. Uh, cargo American Eagle, the longer length stuff, still does pretty good. So. My computer is running very slowly, so sorry if you don't get any great pictures. Uh, this was that uh, Under Armour Captain America compression t-shirt we did in a thrift haul. Um, this sold for, I think, $28, and it sold pretty quickly. I was looking to get a little more for it, but definitely. The size small. Yeah, it, the size was not the greatest, so we definitely just wanted to move it along. So, decent. The Under Armour superhero collabs are really good. So Burlabo. These are Burlabo shorts. They are kind of an athletic style, but they have weird <clears throat> buttons for athletic shorts. But they sold... For $28, maybe $27. Lily Pulitzer. Now, Lily Pulitzer, we used to pick up all the time. Um, this is an extra small, which is why it took so long to sell. But depending on the style, always do a Google lens of Lily Pulitzer because some of their styles are really popular. The more loud, um, in-your-face patterns seem to do the best. But, yeah, decent brand, uh, $28 here uh, on Lily Pulitzer. Dry Joys by Foot Joy. Yeah, a lot of the times we'll pick up these uh jackets they're like waterproof only if they're cheap yeah but uh this one sold for uh, about 25 bucks so we uh we like to pick it up if you can get it for five under polo ralph Lauren jeans uh, pretty self-explanatory here um ralph Lauren jeans we'll pick them up if they're a newer style and if they are cheap but uh, if they're not cheap we definitely don't pick them up because kind of have to sit on them a little bit these sold for 28 dollars, so made decent money on them but they do take a minute to sell for sure uh bread and butter here Fred peter millar this was <laughs> this is a cool colorway kind of like a pinkish peaches peaches color sold for 25.65 uh these are adidas prime green uh three stripe uh drawstring sweatpants uh the three stripes definitely ah. <clears throat> what ah 
Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Uh, three stripes, definitely. You want to include that? You definitely want to include that in the title. And the prime green is also important. So, a decent sale there. Sold for 26. Oh, voice sounds way more crisp. You're welcome. Uh, these are Sean John's. Always put like Y2K, baggy, uh, relaxed, stuff like that. Um, 27.55, full price sale. I got water on my lip. Uh, this is really. This is really hard for me. I can barely talk. Nike. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. You need more. I'm good. I'm good. You I'm need good. more. These are Nike track pants um, sold for $28. Uh, pretty much all Nike track pants, if they're in decent shape, will sell in that $20 price range. USA jacket. This was a $28.50 sale. Uh, don't pick up all of these anymore. This took a while to sell, I believe. But uh, USA Olympic stuff tends to do okay. Another thing about Nike is... When you're a volume seller, it takes a while to build up to where you have like a large inventory. Like you have like say several hundred pieces that are all Nike. But once you do, and they seem to sell pretty well because people will bundle them together with other stuff. So it's always good to have multiple quantities of the same brand. Levi 50, oh, I know I've said that about a hundred times, but <laughs> Levi 501, just nice bread and butter here. Um, sold for that 2850 surprisingly. Uh, but did actually sell for a full price. Tommy Bahama, these sold for 30. This was a used uh, <clears throat> silk shirt. So the used normally sells for about $20 less than the new ones, but uh, we probably would have taken 25 on this as well, maybe even 20, but we got a $30 uh, sale out of it. So good for us. Peter Millar, this is a collaboration with the Cincinnati Bearcats. Um, obviously, having the sports team is going to help it sell a little quicker. Uh, this sold for $25, I believe. I went through, is there a stain on it? No, I think it just we took a lower offer trying to get it out. All right, guys, let's, we're going to end it here just because it's getting a little long. and uh, We had some, a lot more sales, but we're going to kind of end it here. But We've been really busy this week, so sorry for not posting as much, but uh, we're trying to get everything organized. Yeah, also, it was my birthday. 30. May 2nd, 30th. 30 years of age. Yep, 30 years of age. So, yeah, but anyway, thank you for, like I said, buying the sheet if you bought it. If not, I'm glad you got some use out of it. Um, so if you want to keep downloading, we added more stuff to it, so go check that out. Um, also, um, thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. Please do that again. And we'll be putting out videos again here soon. So yep. be on the lookout for those. Tell us what you want us to do. We'll try to do it. If you want us to do some funny stuff, we can maybe try to do that. And but. if you want more um, informational content, like what kind of bread and butter stuff we're selling, um, what styles in certain brands are selling, um, comment what you'd like to see, and maybe we can get something in the works. I know I've seen some, like I said earlier, some women's clothing brand comments. People are wanting to see that kind of stuff. So if you want to see something in particular, definitely make a comment and um, we'll try to make sure that we at least look at your comment. We will definitely look at your comment, but we'll try to we'll talk about it and see whether or not we'll be able to actually do that in a timely manner. But for now, that's all I really got. Yeah. I mean, eBay is not dead. You yeah, eBay is not sell, dead. You can still sell on eBay. Yep, uh, for sure. Yep. And uh, 2024, let's make eBay great again. Yeah, make eBay great again. That's all we got, guys. Thanks.